Happy birthday, Ramsey. Uh, I love you and so much and you're best big sister. And uh, you're funny and you're kind. And you're very silly. And bye. Bye. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lindsay. It's been eight years since you made us a mommy and daddy. We are so proud to be your parents and we love so many things about you, like how joyful you are. You still get so excited and flap your arms just like you did when you were a little baby. You're also very loving. You're so sweet. And anybody who spends time with you walks away happy because of the joy that you brought to them. You're so funny too. You make us laugh all the time and you're so silly and I love the sound of your laugh. Good Mad Libs too. Good Mad Libs, yep. You're super funny with that too. And we, I'm so proud of how much you love to read and learn. You're also really, really good at playing games. We love how you play with you and your brother. You're really, really good at beating me at Simpsons Clue though. So I'm gonna have to work on that. And you're so creative too. We love watching your performances with your music and dancing and you're such a talented artist too. Last but not least, you're an amazing snuggler, whether it's watching the Seahawks with your daddy or being cozy reading with mommy. You make us so happy. We love you so much, Lindsay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lindsay. We love Mwah. you. Happy birthday, Lindsay. I miss so many things about you and have so many memories. But what I like most is last year when we were making cookies together for Christmas. I love when we sit there and bowl together. I love our little golf matches. I love running around in the golf cart on our adventures and I really love us going to the pool together. Hopefully we'll all be able to do that soon. Have a happy birthday, and now someone else wants to say hi too. Someone else misses you also. She misses our dog walks, and she misses your runs to the park with her, and throwing ball. So she's looking forward to seeing you again real soon too. So have a happy birthday, and hopefully we'll all be together soon. Love, Papa and Kenzie. Hi, Lindsay, happy birthday. Do you realize my most favorite Christmas present ever came the year you were born, 2012? Because that year, I became a grandma. I really enjoy visiting with you when you come to Tucson and when we just hang out in Chicago. But when we're here, you always like to go to the zoo, you feed the giraffes, and of course, we have to visit the anteaters. We've gone on many trips together. We've been to weddings and lots of fun cruises. When you were tiny, you read, we, Grandpa and I read to you almost every night. But now, you read to us. You truly amaze me. It's been a long time since we've seen each other, almost a year. But this year, coming up, I know we'll see each other many times. So I just hope you have a great day. I love you. Happy birthday, my dear granddaughter. Bye-bye. Hi, Lindsay. Happy birthday. I hope you have a super special birthday. And remember, eight is great. I want to show you some pictures. This is you when you were eight days old, your first Christmas. And then here's one at 16 months old. Here's you at five years old. I love your smile. And here's seven and a half years old. You were born on December 17th, 2012 on a Monday. And it's said of people born on Mondays that they're very kind, compassionate, and caring, and super sensitive to people's needs. And that's true of you, Lindsay. And I could give you an example. Uh, recently, when um, I lost my Beagle Logan, and you came over, and you brought your book, How to Deal with the Loss of a Pet, and um, uh, by Mr. Rogers, and you read that book to me, and it really did comfort me. And so that's, um, that's an example of uh, you being very compassionate. So thank you for that. Also, one of my um, uh, favorite memories about you is when you became a big sister. 
And I remember um, you were in my family room. It was just you and me. And your mom and dad called to tell you that your baby brother's here. And so you were on the phone and, and I remember you said muffin. And then I heard you say, oh, I thought you named him muffin. And, and they told you, no, it's Nathan. So I always remember that. That was so funny. And then you were so excited. And, and we went to go see um, Nathan uh, the next day when he, uh, he was one day old. And you and I were all the way there when I was driving. Uh, you had so many questions and you were so excited. And you said you couldn't wait to see him. And then when we, uh, when we did get to see him, I remember you just lit up. You were so excited um, because you are a phenomenal big sister, Lindsay. You got to take some uh, pictures with him uh, in the hospital and um, uh, you were hugging and kissing him. And, and uh, that, that I, I just treasure that memory. Okay, so I like to mention some um, people that you share a birthday with. And um, one is Pope Francis, was born on December 17th, 1936. And then uh, Eugene Levy, an actor. Um, Bill Pullman was born on December 17th, 1953, and he's one of your mom's favorite actors. And then there's Ryan Johnson, a film director, producer, and he was famous for writing and directing uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi in 2017. Then an uh, older actor, George Lindsay, but he spells his name L-I-N-D-S-E-Y. And um, he was an actor that played Goober on The Andy Griffith Show. And um, then on December 17, 1493, Paracelsus was born in Switzerland. And he was a famous um, physician, botanist, and astrologer. Okay, now for some baseball trivia. On December 17, 1935, a very famous ball player was born, and um, he uh, played on the Baltimore Orioles for many years, and then he was a coach, and um, he was a very, very talented baseball player. He was a catcher, and um, I don't know if you know uh, who I'm talking about. I don't expect you to, but um, it's Cal Ripken Sr., and um, uh so yeah, he was he was a catcher. Also, Chase Utley, a former second baseman on the Phillies, was born on December 17th. Speaking of sports, did you know that on December 17th, 1933, the first NFL championship game was played at Wrigley Field, and it was with the New York Giants and the Chicago Bears. And guess what? The Bears got the W, and that was 23 to 21. Um, other famous events that happened on December 17th are, in 1903, Wilbur and Orville Wright were made famous for flying their um, uh, flying machine, which is now called an airplane, and it took place uh, at 10.35 in the morning at Kitty Hawk, uh, North Carolina, and Orville was actually the pilot, and it lasted 12 seconds, and they went up 120 feet, so, and in honor of them, uh, December 17th is uh, called the uh, Wright Brothers um, Observation Day. Did you know that the very first Simpsons episode was aired on December 17th, 1989? And on December 17th, 1777, George Washington's army returned to Valley Forge, which is when the French um, officially recognized the United States as um, a... a independent nation. What else? Oh, I wanted to let you know how much I love when you um, entertain us, when you perform for us, Lindsay. And um, one of my favorites was this past summer when we were by Maddie and Ellie's house in the backyard and um, you sang uh, You'll Be Back from Hamilton and uh, you did an outstanding job. You're an awesome, awesome entertainer. You are smart, talented, kind, and funny, and I love you very, very much. I'm, I'm so proud and happy and blessed to be your Grammy. May all your dreams and wishes come true. Happy birthday, Lindsay. Love you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Wait, 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 wait.
Wait, this is way too easy for Lindsay to figure out who the mass singer is. So girls, come here. Take it off. 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 Oh, it's Antigua! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lindsay. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So some of our favorite memories about Lindsay are what? Who wants to start? Ellie, you want to start? Okay. You're the youngest. I love your great singing voice. Yeah. Uh, I like your messages on Messenger Kids. What you got? I um, have so many great memories, but I'm thinking a recent memory. I love your performances that you do when you come over to our house. And I remember um, back when you were just a little baby, the day when we went to go visit you in the hospital, me and Grammy, I remember how precious and cute you were, and you're still so precious and cute. We're so proud of what a, and a, what a thoughtful and creative and smart young lady you're becoming. And Linz, keep up the acting and singing and performing because you are definitely going to be a star. Uh, we love watching you on the deck outside performing for us and Grammy and your, you know, your cousins, everybody. So keep doing that because I tell you, you've, you've got it, girl. Okay? So keep doing it. All right. Happy All right. birthday. Happy birthday. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lindsay! We love you! We love you! Love you. Alright, so we are going to tell you, Lindsay, something we love about you and one of our favorite memories with you. Okay. But I'll start it off. I, I don't, <laughs> I've only met you a couple of times, but some of the things I love is I love your sassy little personality and you're super cute and I like having fun with you. And pretty much every time we get together, we end up getting in trouble by your mom and dad. So, <laughs> but it always, it's always fun. So Good happy memories. birthday, sweetie. Good memories. Okay. I can go next. Yeah. Can I go next? All right. Um, I love how funny you are, how smart you are, how silly you can be, um, because I have some silliness in me too. Um, and then my favorite memory with you, Lindsay, is whenever we do Auntie Kimmy Beauty Shop and I get to do your hair. Yeah. And then we get a mirror and you check out what I did, usually a cool braid. And you always just love it and you look so pretty. And it's lots and lots of fun for both of us. So I think that's a nice special memory of you and me. My All favorite right. thing about you is that you're always cheerful and you're always in a good mood. My favorite memory is when we went to Jeremy's with the Johnsons with you. <laughs> Wants to go next, Johnny? Uh, okay. So my favorite thing is like how energetic you always are, and um, my favorite memory is um, when she was one of the times she was over. She just like Brad kind of said this, but like she just like loved spending time with Brad. Like <laughs> <laughs> that is good memory. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, right. Um, my favorite thing about you is that you're really kind and have a really positive attitude. And I'm with Will Grammy, so Johnson's is my favorite memory. <laughs> Good memory. All right, we love you, Lindsay. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Bye, have a great Happy day. birthday, Happy Lindsay. Happy birthday, Lindsay. Hope you have a wonderful birthday. Wish we could be there to celebrate with you. Um, we're so excited to be able to see you next year. Um, you've grown so much. We've been, one of my favorite memories of not really getting to see you this year, but actually seeing you through a video was when you made that sweet little song for Grammy on her birthday. And I'm so impressed. And it's just the sweetest thing we've ever heard. You playing the ukulele and singing along. And just you're so musical and talented and just we love you. And we wish we could spend time with you. Have a happy birthday, Lindsay. Um, Hope to see you soon, maybe through a video or something. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> we love you. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lindsay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we ran out of candles. Sing along. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, dear Lindsay. Happy birthday to you. Blow out the candles. Yay. You want to blow out? Oh, good job. <laughs> Almost. Yay. Yay. Happy birthday, Lindsay. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hi, Lindsay. It's your Uncle Chris. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. I miss you. Look forward to seeing you again soon. And uh, you're awesome. Love you. Bye. Hi, Lindsay. It's Uncle Blake and Aunt Kathy wishing you a very happy eighth birthday. And there are lots of things we love about you. One is we love your laugh. We love your imagination. We love your nurturing. We love your dependability and how good you are as a big sis to Nathan and your mom and your dad. You are incredibly smart. You are incredibly adorable. Right, Uncle Blake? Oh, absolutely. Guaranteed. And you are one of a kind. We love you, sweetheart. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Bye. It's that time of year again. The holidays and Lindsay's birthday! <laughs>
Bye. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lindsay. I like that you're fun to play with. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lindsay. Happy birthday to you. Wow, what a special birthday. Eight you know, years old. Can't even believe it. I, I remember when we first met you. Yeah. You were just so little. I think we four, had just moved maybe. in. Yeah, we just moved in and you came to our Christmas party. party oh my gosh. With mom and dad. We've known you so long. Some of the things we love about you is all your cards that you give us. Oh, it's always so sweet. Your drawings and your pictures. Oh yeah, your artwork is amazing. And you always entertain us. Here's our artwork for you. <laughs> and the way you uh, do performances and everything. And oh you my gosh. Choreograph we... everything with Nathan. I know, and write down your lyrics. Oh, you're so, so creative awesome. and thoughtful, Lindsay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. We're so glad that we got to know you and celebrate with you COVID style. And we'll see you soon. Yes. Okay. Happy birthday. All right. Bye. Hey, Lindsay. Happy birthday. We are so happy to have you in room 106. You're a great addition to the class and I'm enjoying teaching you. Um, I really love the way that you're participating and in math, you'll even chat me your answers. I also look forward to your videos on Seesaw when you're kind of teaching me how to do the work. And so I hope you have a happy birthday and that you enjoy this upcoming year as an eight-year-old. Happy birthday, Lindsay. I'm so excited about your birthday, and I wanted to tell you that your very first art project with me in my classroom at Prescott, you told me how much you loved yoga, and I knew immediately that you and I would understand each other because I love yoga too. And I love being your art teacher because you're so creative and all of your projects show me how talented you are. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Hi, Lindsay, it's Miss Emily. I'm dressed in my holiday PJs because it's spirit week at school and I wanna wish you a happy birthday and I hope you have a fabulous day and I hope you get to dance all around and celebrate your birthday with people you love. Have a great day, happy birthday. Hey Lindsay, happy 8th birthday. It's crazy to see you that you're growing up so quickly. I remember when you were just 5 and now you're turning 8. That's insane. I really miss you and I wish I could be there. And I know that you are putting a smile on everyone's face at home and at school. And I really wish you the best. Happy birthday. See you one day. Lindsay Johnson. Happy birthday, girl. I miss you so much. I miss you so much in Cedar Room. Oh, my goodness. How old are you now? Like 80? I think it's 80. All right. Well, hey. I love you. And I miss you so much. Mwah. Love you, girl. Hi, Lindsay. It's Miss Jessica. I bet you miss this face in religious education, but I know that I miss you so much. I'm so happy to share your birthday with you. Happy, happy, happy birthday. And I know that last year around this time, we were able to sing you happy birthday in person. And this year has just been a mess. So I'm glad to be able to do it virtually. My favorite thing about you is how helpful you were in class, getting the lesson plans ready, telling your mom and I what's going to be the most impactful for your friends and for you. And I loved, my favorite memory was when you came in singing all the songs from school, doing your dances, showing us what you were going to do at your next recital or concert. I absolutely loved that. You brought a smile to my face. So happy birthday. And I hope Santa is extra good to you this year. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Lindsay. Hope you have a great day. 
There's so many things we love about you, but two of the biggest is one. You're a big Cubs fan. Go Cubs, go. Go Cubs, go. Hey Chicago, what do you say? Cubs are going to win today. Go Cubs, go. Hey Chicago, what do you say? Cubs are going to win today. And also you're a big Kaylee George fan. Tell her you, we say hi when you talk to her next. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lindsay! We love you. Have a great Bye. day. Bye. 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 Um, happy birthday, Lindsay. Um, I like Gussie, and you like us too. And and we got a festival name. Like I know you have to sing him. So happy birthday. Do you want to sing? Can I sing happy birthday? No, mm-hmm. okay, Yeah, yeah, um, um, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking you, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's been great here. So, Merry Christmas. Hey, Priscilla. Happy birthday, Lindsay. Happy birthday. We miss you. Can't wait to see you soon. Say. (laughs) Bye, Lindsay. Good kisses. like about Lindsay. She is fun. One, she is fun. Two, she has great parents. Three, she has a great little brother. Four, she is kind. Five, we love going to her house to play with her. Six, happy birthday, Lindsay. Seven, how old are you? Eight. Hey, Lindsay. Happy birthday. Woo, woo, woo. I really enjoy playing Uno with you. And our games go on for a very long time, which is great. And I also liked when you did yoga and you did those affirmations. And I think of you saying them all the time. So if you remember them, say them on your birthday for me. All right. Hope you have a great one. Happy birthday. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lindsay. Happy birthday to you. So, Lindsay, what we really love about you is all of the artwork that you make for us. I don't know if you remember making penguins. Yeah. Uh, for, for us, one of my favorite animals. We want to see some more artwork in the new year. So, I hope you're having a nice birthday and uh, get lots of nice presents yeah more drawing we love the artist in you and we also love listening to you and nathan rock out and sing us songs it's yeah. a lot of fun and hopefully we'll be able to do that in the new year all right all right love you bye bye hey Lindsay. happy birthday i mean i think my favorite thing might be that you're my birthday buddy um, that's probably Aunt Claudia's favorite thing as well. We were so excited when your mom let us know that she was in labor and having you on her birthday and so ecstatic that it happened on that day. Um, I miss you. I hope I can see you back in Chicago soon and I hope you have an amazing eighth birthday tomorrow. I will be celebrating my 40th birthday. I'm getting old. Um, so happy birthday and hope to see you soon. Love you. I love you. Bye.